Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed your weekend. Black Friday was a blast, and for those of you who are snatching up your last-minute deals for Cyber Monday, good luck. Okay, so if you thought that evil sticky goo only exists in cartoons like... My shoes will be ruined forever! That's what you're worried about? Really? Well, then things are about to get real. According to Kuantan MP Fuzia Saleh, toxic mud is making its way to residential compounds after monsoon rains have caused holding ponds to overflow and in some cases burst. So what's so toxic about this? The water in these ponds are the waste products of bauxite mining in Kuantan. After the bauxite is washed, the residual heavy metals and toxins pollute the water and now that same water is mingling with loose soil and forming toxic mudslides that can make you sick by just coming into contact with the stuff. Yeah, just because it's on TV doesn't mean it's not real. With the monsoon season fast approaching, Kuantan MP Fuzia Sale is calling for the Pahang state government yet again to issue a stop work order for bauxite mining. Yesterday, after four hours of rain, the retention wall of a cleaning pond had burst and flooded a Kuantan resident's house with dirty toxic mud. She also wants the state government to issue a stop work order for all bauxite mines in the state, both legal and illegal, and that the federal government fulfil its promise to halt bauxite exports so as to cripple the demand. She previously raised an issue where four rivers in Kuantan were found to be contaminated with highly poisonous mercury. Inspector General of Police Khalid Abu Bakar stands by the decision of the police to call in lawyer Americ Sidhu in for questioning tomorrow. Americ Sidhu is providing legal representation for his client Charles Suresh Morais, who made a statutory declaration last week pertaining to the murder of his brother, Deputy Public Prosecutor Kevin Anthony Morais. This move was slammed by Lawyers for Liberty as harassment of a lawyer who is merely performing his duties. Although Khalid cited that the seriousness of the SD was reason to question Americ, adding that Americ's responsibilities to his client make him answerable to the questions pertaining the declaration, Americ fired back, saying that Charles is a grown-up and that Charles is answerable as it was him who declared it to be true. It is a victory for ride-sharing services in Malaysia as the government has rejected the request to close down Uber and Grabcar. Deputy Communications and Multimedia Minister Jaliani Johari says that the ministry encourages the development of applications that harness the internet for public convenience, adding that Uber and Grabcar have not broken any laws. However, they mentioned their side of the deal only involves the applications and websites, while matters relating to taxis are under the jurisdiction of the Land Public Transport Division or SPAD. Thus saying that until SPAD calls upon the Malaysian Communications and Multimedia Commission or MCMC, they will not step in. Mohamed Rizalman Ismail pleaded guilty this morning to a charge of indecent assault on the day he was due to go on trial in New Zealand. Rizalman, a former Malaysian High Commission military attaché, previously pleaded not guilty to the charges of indecent assault, assault with intent to commit sexual violation and burglary by remaining in a building against 22-year-old Tanya Billingsley in May last year. He was arrested by police after the alleged attack and managed to return to Malaysia from New Zealand, sparking a massive diplomatic uproar over the immunity that Rizalman could enjoy as a diplomat. For the full timeline of the Billingsley case, click on over to MalaysiaKini.com and stay with us for continuing coverage of its developments. With that, we finish up the fact sheet for today. Is it about time we put our bauxite exports to rest to help the country? Let's talk about it in the comments. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe and don't forget the thumbs up. I'm Daniel Anthony. Thanks for watching.